Yo, what's good, everybody? I'm Arhiggy28. Welcome to the YouTube channel. It's Sunday, so we got our roster update Sunday. The only thing is, SDS threw a monkey wrench in our plans. They quietly announced yesterday that the roster update is actually not going to be this Friday. The roster update is really going to be the week after. As a result of that, I don't want to give you the same type of predictions that I normally give you because it's going to be a lot of the same names that we've been saying. Instead, what I plan on doing in this video is to briefly touch on every significant gold player that people have been asking me about. And I'm going to explain why I think they might go diamond or why they won't go diamond. We're going to shoot through them real quick and give you the information on all the players that you guys have been asking me about as possible diamonds. If you like this sort of content, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because we do this every single Sunday. First guy we're talking about is Zach Wheeler. What he needs is a boost to his Ks per nine. He's got some room to grow with his walks per nine and his hits per nine also could use a boost. Since the last roster update, Zach Wheeler's got 3.38 walks per nine. He's given up 10.13 hits per nine. Those are not really good numbers. He does have 13.5 Ks per nine. However, even if his Ks per nine go up, you might actually see a decrease in the walks per nine. You might see a little bit of a decrease in the hits per nine. We're gonna be kind of stuck in no man's land with Zach Wheeler. It's gonna be kind of hard. I honestly just don't think he's gonna reach diamond on the next update unless some things change. What we need to see from Will Smith is an increase to his contact versus righties. Good news for you Will Smith fans. Since the last roster update, he's batting 323 versus righties. If he can keep this up he's definitely going to get an increase to contact versus right and he's going to easily go diamond david bednar has fallen apart his biggest hole is walks per nine we really needed to see an increase in that and honestly it's at 11.57 since the last roster update that is so atrocious he has 23.14 hits per nine so his one-on-one hits per nine is gonna decrease his walks per nine it might decrease too he has absolutely fallen apart david bednar's hot start is over he is probably getting downgraded helsley's next on the list we needed to see an increase in walks per nine, similar to David Bednar. He has 7.39 walks per nine since the last roster update. Unfortunately, Helsley has sort of cost himself during this update period by walking too many guys. He does have 19.64 Ks per nine. So we might see an increase in Ks per nine, which is another thing we really wanna see with Helsley. If he doesn't get those walks under control, I really don't see him going diamond, unfortunately. Max Freed was one of my favorites to get the bump up to diamond in our last video. We need to see an increase to Ks per nine. And also we can see an increase to hits per nine. He still kept his walks low during this update period 0.66 walks per nine that 90 walks per nine rating is gonna stay that high did he increase his strikeouts well 8.56 strikeouts per nine since the last update not terrible not amazing it's certainly better than a 57 k's per nine rating and his hits per nine only at 7.24 it's possible that we even see a bump in the hits per nine i honestly believe that max freed is gonna get the bumps to his k's per nine and he's gonna get the boost to diamond as long as he keeps this pace wilson Contreras needs increases to contact versus right and power versus right since the last update one home run so the power is not probably going to increase too much. However, he is batting 296 versus righties. I'm not all on board the Wilson Contreras diamond train at this point. I need to see him continue putting up these numbers because his season long numbers versus righties are just not great. I hate to tell all you Sandy truthers out there. The dream is starting to kind of die on Sandy. My biggest problem with him 
is that he's not striking out enough batters. He's got a 60 Ks per nine. We need to see an increase to Ks per nine and walks per nine. Now, he's been doing great in the walks per nine category, 1.13. That's a really low number. So we could see that get a boost. However, since the last roster update, 3.94 Ks per nine. That is atrocious. If Sandy wants to get the bump up to diamond, he's got to continue to not walk any batters and he's got to strike out a few more people. Adolis Garcia is kind of in a weird spot. Normally we'd be talking about that contact versus left, but since the last update, he's batting zero versus lefties. He's 0 for 7. That contact versus left is gonna stay put. What I do like about Adolis Garcia is that he's batting 346 with two home runs and four doubles versus righties since the last update. That's 26 plate appearances and a 346 average. I can very, very easily see his stats versus lefties staying the same unless they want to decrease his power a little bit versus left but the numbers versus righties could get a nice boost we could see a solid boost to contact versus right and an okay boost to power versus right and adolis garcia should be a diamond at that point because he only needs a plus one increase i'm on the fence about nestor cortez he had a great start today he pitched six innings had six strikeouts only gave up three hits in his previous start he had five innings pitched five hits and seven strikeouts he's striking out batters for sure he's limiting his walks if he can continue doing this then it's very possible that on the next update nestor cortez goes diamond austin hayes has been on my roster update videos the past couple times he has increased his stats versus lefties batting 556 in nine at bats since the last update he's even got a home run and a triple so we might actually see a bump to his contact and his power versus left now that austin hayes is actually hitting left-handed pitching his batting versus righties has taken a huge hit He's only batting 179 and 28 at bats and only one home run. So we might see an increase in Austin Hayes' stats versus lefties, but we're going to see a decrease in his stats versus righties. I don't know what's going to happen with him. He could either stay at 83. He might even get the bump down to like 82. I got to give up on my boy Austin Hayes. Kevin Gossman's only had one start since the last roster update. He had a pretty good one. He kept his hits per nine low. He had 12.86 Ks per nine. We got to see much more out of Kevin Gossman, but he's a guy to keep an eye on. George Springer is kind of an interesting one he's only had five at bats versus lefties he's got no hits i don't think they're going to really adjust his numbers versus lefties at this point with those stats he is batting 294 versus righties he's got himself a pair of home runs his power won't increase based on those two home runs his contact might get a little bit of a bump with the 294 average he's gotta really step it up Otherwise, I don't really see him getting too much of an adjustment. Clay Holmes is kind of a simple case. We need to see an increase in his strikeouts per nine. Since the last update, nine strikeouts per nine in four innings of work. On the year, he's got about 9.33 Ks per nine. If we can continue to see that uptick in strikeouts from Clay Holmes, he should very easily go diamond. For some reason, people love asking me about Ty France, but until his power numbers increase, he is not going anywhere. Three home runs in the entire month of June. Give it up, people. Ty France is not going diamond. I'm gonna speak real briefly on Brandon Woodruff. Just came off of injury, so we're not really gonna see any numbers increase yet, but he just had his first start back and it was an incredible one. So Brandon Woodruff is a guy that I've definitely got my eye on because he's already been a diamond in the past. He's got that history. It might be kind of easy for him to get the bump up to diamond. Andres Jimenez, we need to see an increase in his numbers versus lefties. Well, unfortunately during this 
longest roster update period. He's only gone two for 12 versus lefties. That's a 167 average. We might actually see a slight decrease to his contact versus left. He's had no home runs. He's only had one extra base hit, but his numbers versus righties has gotten really, really good. 409 average since the last update two home runs it's possible that we see a little bit of an increase to his numbers versus righties and a little bit of a decrease to his numbers versus lefties i don't really see jimenez getting too much of a bump it's possible he goes up to 84 but i don't think it's time for him to go diamond taylor ward is an 83 where we need to see him grow is power versus lefties the good news is he's hitting really well against lefties he's got a 429 batting average since the last update two doubles no home home runs no triples we're not really seeing the power from taylor ward versus lefties that we really truly need and it's only been eight at bats so it might take a little while if you're hanging on to taylor ward before he gets those power numbers out there dylan cease i really thought had a chance to maybe not get the bump up to diamond but get some sort of increase what we needed to see is his walks per nine improve yesterday cease gave up three walks in five innings that really doesn't help his cause to be honest with you unless he gets those walks under control dylan sees is probably gonna stay at an 82 nico horner is a fun one to talk about nico has the high defensive stats that are keeping him in the mid to high gold range what we really needed to see an increase to his power numbers funny enough since the last roster update nico horner actually has a home run versus righties and he's batting 500 versus them his numbers against lefties are pretty good too he's two for three he doesn't have any home run he's, he didn't show any power there but he is doing well against lefties if he can keep up this hot hitting it is a possibility that nico gets the bump up to diamond my only issue with him is that he has the history of not being the greatest hitter you know being a decent contact hitter not much power if he can continue this hot streak for the next couple weeks until the update we're gonna have to reevaluate it and nico horner has an actual shot at being a diamond he may very well be what everybody considers the worst live series diamond. So that's going to be a lot of fun. We'll see what happens. Don't look now, but Robbie Ray is sort of getting back into his Cy Young form a little bit. He certainly had a really bad start, but recently he's been really, really solid, especially since the last roster update. Only 3.46 hits per nine. He's got 9.69 Ks per nine. 3.46 six walks per nine we could use a little work on that all in all robbie ray is starting to look up probably not gonna go diamond on the next update but we could see a nice little increase and you know that's profit right there josh bell is a guy that a lot of people thought was gonna go diamond in the beginning of the year started off the season red hot he's kind of back to form we would like to see a little bit of an increase in power numbers he has no home runs since the last roster update he's batting 667 versus righties it's possible if he continues this pace we get a slight bump in contact versus righties and he's also batting 400 versus lefties that 74 contact versus left could easily get a bump up he probably won't go diamond but similar to robbie ray he might jump up a couple levels christian javier has been absolutely on fire maybe the hottest pitcher in the major leagues right now he has 0.64 hits per nine over his past two starts 0.64 walks per nine over his past two starts and 17.36 k's per nine if christian javier continues to be red hot because they extended the time of when they're going to do the roster update i actually see the possibility of him going diamond i thought he would get some sort of a bump he'd probably get up to like maybe an 83 84 but now if he continues to be this hot now he probably won't continue to be this this good but if he continues to be just really good he could be a diamond during the next update juan soto 
I honestly don't really know what to say about him. We need to see an increase in his numbers versus lefties. He probably should not have gotten bumped all the way down to 82. Yes, he's struggled a little bit this season. It's only a matter of time before Juan Soto does get bumped back up to diamond. We all know what he's capable of. He's got a 353 average versus righties since the last update. No home runs. I'm afraid that SDS is going to give him another decrease to his power and maybe increase his contact because his contact numbers versus righties are up a little bit. His numbers versus lefties haven't improved too much. 250 since the last update. That's not bad. It's certainly better than 46 contact versus left. Is it enough to really get him to diamond? No, not yet. Probably not on this update, especially since he got the bump down in the last one. But Juan Soto, I, I have a hard time believing that he's not going to be a diamond again at some point in the year. Brandon Drury has been hitting pretty well. What we really need to see is an increase to his numbers versus righties. He's got one home run. He's batting 263 versus righties since the last update. I'm not quite sure that those are good enough numbers for him to get a boost. Drury has been doing pretty well. So if he can keep hitting versus righties, we might see a little bit of an increase to his contact. Yoan Duran has been one of the best relievers in baseball all year long. He can honestly kind of grow everywhere. Since the last update, he's given up zero walks in four and one third inning, only 4.15 hits per nine and 10.38 Ks per nine. Duran is sneakily heading towards diamond this year. He's definitely going to get an increase in his walks per nine. And I can see a bump in hits per nine and Ks per nine. I'm not so sure he's going to get to diamond on the next update, but he might get himself to 84 and then he's going to be a prime candidate to be one of the next up and coming diamonds. Jose Abreu needs his stats versus righties increased. 452 average since the last update. He's got no home runs, but he does have four doubles. I don't really see them giving too much of a boost to the power, but we could see a nice boost to his contact versus righties. Perhaps that could get him to like maybe an 81, 82. That would be really nice. Tony Gonsolin has been lights out recently. We'd like to see an increase to his Ks per nine and walks per nine. Well, since the last update, 1.35 walks per nine. That's really, really good. 8.78 Ks per nine. Not so bad, definitely better than a 61 rating. Gonsling could get a little bit of a bump. He could be one of those kind of almost diamonds. Carlos Correa, the biggest place that he can see growth is in his power versus lefties numbers. Since the last update, he's got a home run and he's batting 250 against them. Nothing incredible with the 250 average, but that 86 contact shouldn't move. Maybe the home run can help him increase his power versus left because 42 is really low. He's He's also been batting 375 versus righties with three home runs. So his numbers versus righties actually have a good chance to get a bump up too. We could see Correa as one of the high golds teetering on diamond. What we've needed from Dansby Swanson is power. And Dansby has been showing us the power. Two home runs versus lefties, along with the 368 average, that's in 19 at bats. So we should see a pretty solid increase to his contact versus lefties, even though it's already really high, plus a little bit of a boost to the power. And he's got three home runs versus righties and a 300 average. So Dansby Swanson's kind of in line for an increase everywhere. Will it be enough to diamond? I guess only time will tell. Dansby Swanson should be getting at least a bump up to mid to high gold. Travis Darno has been one of the hottest hitters in baseball in the month of June. We need to see better numbers versus righties. Well, 353 average, one home run, three doubles since the last roster update. I can see them giving him a nice solid bump to his contact versus right, a potential increase to the power versus right, though that I'm on the fence about. And his numbers versus lefties have been solid 333 average. Again, no home runs. The 333 average in 12 at bats means that his lefty numbers should probably stay the same and will get a little bit of an increase to the righty numbers. So Darno should get a little bit of a bump up 
in the next couple weeks. And last but certainly not least, Alejandro Kirk, probably the best catcher in the American League right now. What we've needed from him is an increase to power. Well, three home runs versus righties since the last update. Also a 458 average versus righties. We could easily see both stats versus righties increase. I'm not so sure it's gonna be enough to get him to diamond, but he will get some sort of an increase. Keep your eye on Kirk. Maybe, just maybe, he could be a guy that goes diamond after the all-star break. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section any questions or thoughts that you have about the video.